to walk you through how I instruct my students to organize their Google Drive at the beginning of the year. Um, so what you see on screen here is a sample account and we're going to assume that this is one of my students. This is Jane Purple and she's brand new to Google Drive. So we don't have any other folders to deal with or anything like that. So we're going to walk through together how to organize your files, Jane. So as the teacher, I would be showing them this on the screen and then I would uh, direct them this way. I would like for you to go over to where it says plus new and you will see right here where it says plus new. If you click there, you will have an option for some folders. Clicking those folders, we're going to create this for the new school year. And we're going to create a folder for the whole school year. Okay. Now, if you right click on that, you have some options. You can change the color. And many of my students like to change the color. And I don't really care what color they make it because this gives them ownership. And having that psychological ownership of their drive makes it more important to them in the long run. So, you know, she's going to change it to this cardinal red. Okay, so if you will double click on that folder that you just made, it's going to open up a spot and you're going to see a thing that says drop files here or use the new button. So we're going to come up here to the new button. And we're going to make some more folders. We're going to make a folder, ladies and gentlemen, for each one of your class periods. And I'll explain to you why we're going to do this in a little bit. So the first folder, we're going to title that first period. Now you may call it, you know, Miss Neal's class or Mr. Johnson's class or whomever, if you want to, if that makes it more, it makes it easier for you to, to follow. But for what we're going to do, I'm just going to name it first period. And I'm going to do that for each one of my class periods. Now, if this had been an elementary teacher doing this with their students, you might want to create a folder for each one of the subject areas. Okay. And the reason I do this, and because I encourage my students not to go through the apps to create their their documents. This is great, but that doesn't give them any organization for those apps. I encourage them to come into the class period itself and create, oh, we didn't want to create a folder, to create the new documents. So if this is something that's been shared with them, they can go into the shared with me and right click on it and add that link to the appropriate folder for their classroom. But this allows me then to, let me come back to my drive, allows me very easily if the students are all working in this folder at the end of the year, they don't have to do anything to archive. They just create a new folder for the new school year. So this is how we set up our organization at the beginning of each school year.